Hi, and welcome to Two Minute Stats. I'm Dr. Kristen Kinsevich, and in this video, we are going to talk about standardized scores. So when you take an assessment, you get a raw score. It's just whatever the number is that your, you know, the test indicates. But in order for that to be meaningful or for you to be able to compare that, you need to transform the score. And so imagine if you got a 20 on the ACT. That may be good, that may not be good. We don't really know until we start comparing it with other scores. And so we need to transform it to do that. So first we wanna compute the Z score. And that is calculated by taking the, their raw score of what that person took minus the mean of your whole population, whatever your target population is that you're comparing that person to, and then divide that by the standard deviation. That Z-score tells us where the raw score would fall on a normal bell curve. So now we have a sense of where that person is in comparison to everyone else. And then if we want a standardized score, we have to turn that Z-score into a standardized T-score. And it's standardized because the mean is set at 50 with a standard deviation of 10. And so this helps us actually compare um, a bunch of different um, types of tests as well that have all kinds of different scores and ranges. And so we can do that by calculating the T-score with this formula, 50 plus 10 times the Z-score. And so in doing that, we get a standardized score for any test we can compare it. And um, that can be really useful in school settings as well as um, kind of any, any type of test that you would want to um, be able to compare against a norm. Thanks for watching.